Hi guys, Jeremy here. Just doing another video today, or should I say tonight? Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you virtually what I'm going to be doing with my off-grid system. And that um, my current setup, or should I say my future setup, and my plans and things like that. So far, I've gotten my wire, I've gotten my lungs, I've gotten my bus bar, and a few other things. So, I'll be showing you where to get something, get a few things off eBay, get some nice deals, and what to get and what not to get. So, let's start into it. So, virtually, I'm going to be getting this inverter here. Now, this inverter is available in Australia. With this, but the current issue at the moment is the when just in case as you guys if you guys follow me you might also know him already uh he's brought this but it wasn't as specified it never got this knob over here this gear that lets you adjust your current so well sorry not current your charge current to your battery so he's getting he's getting it sent back but I'm getting this from NASA supplier, so I'm hoping it all goes well. Now, <clears throat> this is a 6,000 watt, 18,000 maximum surge it can handle, and it runs on a 48 volt battery bank. And you get the idea here. Now, the other thing, this is my current wiring diagram, so I'll be getting. 16 batteries as you can see here they'll be wired up in 12 volt 4 in um, series they'll make it 12 volt and then 4 12 volts wired in series to make 48 volts a thousand and about rated at c10 rating so you, know, you never you know you never buy four batteries that isn't going to make you let you let you run your house overnight or off off grid for multiple days. You're going to need a thousand amper or more, not four puny batteries. It's no point. Uh, if you want a good system, this is what you need to get. This is the type of stuff you need. So virtually, for starters, you need breakers or fuses in your system. Never. Do your system without breakers or fuses. If you don't, well, let's just say you go fuck your system in no time. You'll be virtually putting money down the drain. So, as you can see up here, I'm getting uh, 12 250 watt solar panels. I'll show you where I'm going to be getting them. They're going to be in strings of three. And in parallel and that will be one string and another string is going to be in three so two lots of three parallel that will make out two strings of 1500 watts and they're going to be connected to of course breakers your 20 amp breakers at um so virtually they'll handle that no issues we got two sets one's on the roof and one's that are going to be above our well by first i say above my charge controller now what I'm getting is, I'm getting two Midnight Kids. So this, this is it. This is a Midnight Kid. It will handle 1500 watts maximum. And if it should happen to go over over that 1500 watts, it will go into overcurrent mode. And by doing that, it won't damage it. You know, from what I've been told, you, know, you can run over this with a forklift, it'll still run. Which is quite nice. <clears throat> in that, you know, we got, of course, we got breakers slash quick disconnect, so you need to kill it, you can, as well as my inverter with a 200 amp fuse, or should I say breaker, and also a 250 to my batteries. Now, in, I'm also going to be wiring in a generator, so that's going to be run off a, a uh, 15 amp socket and a fuse and I'm going to have a changeover switch put in there as well which is specially designed for generators so if, if I want to go off grid I flip the switch to off which will kill the grid power <coughs> and then 
what it'll do is if I, if I need to charge my battery for some reason, like not enough sun, I simply flick it into Azuri mode, kick the generator over, and then hey presto, I'm charging my batteries as well as running my house off the, off the generator at the same time. So this is my current setup. I'll put a little picture at the end of it so you can see what I'm doing. That's that done. Now. I may give you guys a look at what my 3D design is going to be look like, virtually how it's going to look like. So, and you see, this is the outside, yes, that is the colour of my house. You can laugh at it, you can say, well, I a blind man can use that type of colour. Well, you can say that, I don't care. <laughs> now, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be building my own cabinets on a thick slab which will handle the 16 batteries that weigh 72 kilos each. So virtually each row of batteries, a row of eight, will weigh almost 600 kilos. That's a fair amount, that's a, a lot of weight. So I've got to make sure the slab can handle it, no issue. And up top here is going to be virtually where my charge controls are going to be. So I'll just go across here. And this is what virtually practically what I'm going to be having. So inside here, these are my batteries. So nice 3D design of my batteries. And then in here, as you can see, I got my I got my little distribution box here, which will have my solar panels coming in. They'll be all on four pole breakers. Then I'll have my kids, two kids and each one will have their own breaker and then my charge controller which will power the house now also while well, i remember to this charge controller also has ac pass through so even though your grid's on you can make sure it doesn't you don't want to charge your batteries off the grid no issue you turn it turn the charge feature off but you're still powering your house from the grid which is quite nice now the other thing I've also done is on the other side on the other side of the wall inside is I will have a little box in here. Now this little box here will allow me to switch between grid, generator or no grid at all. So that gives you a nice idea what my design is like. Thank you, you know, this you know, thank you to Chris and his help. This has worked no issue, you know, it's been quite good. Now, to where I've actually bought my stuff, now, this company here, if you email them, they'll give you a good deal. Um, I'm getting, I'm not going to say how much I'm getting, but I'm getting 12 panels at a nice reasonable rate to cans, which is quite nice. They are, you know, they're polycrystal, yes, they're second grade, but, you know, that's all I can afford at the moment. Mono is kind of out of my reach at the moment, and no one's stepped up to give me a good deal. So we're looking at 250 watt panels you know, with a open circuit of 37.5 volts, 8.6 amps and virtually maximum power voltage of 30 volts and a maximum power current of 8.9, uh, sorry 8.19 which is a nice panel. So this mob, so to give you an idea, this is, this is the mob here sunlights then they're nice to deal with so that's a nice place to go if you want for panels and that's not my next place is batteries now this mob has given me a nice deal all you gotta do is just tell them what you want what's it for and you know they'll give you a nice deal for it so land plus or should i say tl dash nick so this mob what they've done is they've given me these batteries so now as you can see these are AGM deep cycle batteries. This is what you need. 250 amp, quite nice. Now they're rated, further down the page here, you'll see. That's the postage, and then these are specifications. So these batteries are AGM. The best batteries you need. If you wanna, if you wanna set a nice a system, use AGM. You don't have to worry about, you know, you don't have to box them, 
though they don't vent and they're safe, they'll last for a while. These have a shelf life of 10 years. So the better you, you know, you'll get a good run out of them. And if you use, which I might be getting later on, a desulfator, that will double to triple the life of my batteries. So that is what you need. Now, as I was saying, do you do, do not run your batteries off four batteries. You cannot run a house off that. You run a run you want to run your house, you need at least a thousand amp hours. You know, more the better. The longer you have staff grid, the better. You don't want to staff grid for half an hour to an hour, two hours at the most. You want to, when you're off the grid, you want to staff the grid. So, if you want batteries for Australians, this is what you want. As you, got, as you can see, these have a nice C10 rating of 250, uh, 250 amp, a C20 rating of 265 so these are more than suitable for your solar now this is if you're looking for if you want to get this inverter this place here which is called aliexpress now this is a verda inverter you can get locally but i wouldn't as far as i'm concerned it's no point so these are where i'm going to begin it from now this is the mob you can get it from. I, I'll probably include a link in the in my in my description, so you can see exactly what you'll be getting and have a nice close look at it. And as you see, you know, you got nice specs on here. You know, a low frequency inverter. You can't go wrong with it. Uh, so I, yeah, they're practically rock solid. I was hoping to, um, to be honest, I'll, ha I'll have a look at the MPPs, but uh, Chris, sorry, should I say just in case, is looking into them. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go that way until he has fully tested them. You know, as you guys know, you follow me, you follow, uh, you follow him. You will see, he loves testing equipment, so why not? If he if his test goes well later on in the future, I'll look at getting them. And honestly, I hope they go very well. Yeah, and they're nice inverter. So now we'll be looking at a 48 uh, 48 volt 6000 watt inverter. As you see here, these are the specs in here. So you know, 270 volts max, AC out or AC in, should I say? And you see, you get you get good, you get fam a good a good uh, output on these. So now this is wrong. It says twelve thousand, but that's actually a mistake. It's actually it's like, it's actually eighteen thousand. So don't stress too much on that, and I'll probably be testing that out if I can. Don't know how I'm going to, but it's no harm trying. <laughs> so. So as you can see guys, this is virtually what I'm currently up to and what I am doing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me and I'll be including the plans at the end of this video and I want to say thank you for, just in case, for helping me out. Now please subscribe and yeah, check out his channel. You know, he's got a lot on there. Enjoy, thank you very much and you have a good night. Thank you.